Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Every so often, I run across a client who needs to set up their QuickBooks Online for the first time. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. So I've gone to QuickBooks Online, qbo.intuit.com, and down at the bottom, I'm going to say new to Intuit, create an account. I have the different options for what account I can create. I'm just going to say no thanks to that. I'm going to create a plus account. So I'm going to choose the plan for QuickBooks Online Plus. I do not want payroll, so I'm going to say continue without payroll. I am not going to choose live assisted bookkeeping. There are a large variety of reasons for that, but we'll just go with no. I'm going to give it my email address. Uh, let's see if I can do this without a phone number. No. Okay. Five, 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 eight, eight, one, one, eight. one more step. It's going to send a code. All right. So now I have to enter billing information. All right, so I've entered my credit card number, um, my credit card nickname, all this. At the bottom, it says by selecting subscribe, I authorize a charge on today's date. That isn't really what I want. Um, what I wanted was to get one of those, like, you know, try it for some amount of time. So let's abandon ship. Let's go back. Let me toggle this over to free trial. So I can either have 50% off for three months or I can have the free trial. I just want the free trial because I don't intend to keep this. I want to come up with something that I can use for a demo and then I'm going to delete it. So now when I try to do this, it says my user ID has already taken. So I'm going to try to sign in and just see if it'll let me still do the thing. No, it still wants this. Uh, Okay, so clicking, I wonder if I can, no, I can't. Okay, hold on. All right, so I've got credit card information, got my business address, I'll click this, I'll choose subscribe. I wanna continue with my trial and I do not wanna skip the trial. I don't wanna say 50%, I really don't wanna sign up for payroll. So continue with trial. All right, now let's do this together. It says, um. Welcome, we're glad you're here. Tell us what you need help with. I'm going to select next. What do you call your business? What is your business's legal name? Um, Rachel Barnett Demo QB Setup. Um, okay, so I'm going to call it Rachel Barnett Demo QB Setup. I'll select next. What have you been using to manage your finances? Let's just say spreadsheet. I'm going to click next. Is this the main source of my income? Well, no. Let's say no and see what happens. How do you request and send payments? Uh, my make-believe clients give me checks. How long has this been in business? Under a year. It's been approximately five minutes. I'm going to go ahead and select next. What kind of business? Is it an LLC? I I'm going to say I'm not sure. I'm going to say that I am, ooh, I'm not sure. I really want to demonstrate what it looks like when people are honestly not sure. What's your industry? Let's just say we're going to skip it. So what is my main role? I'm going to say that I'm the owner and I'll click next. Who works at the business? Well, just me. And I'll say next. And then does a bookkeeper help you with the books? I'm going to say yes. And then I'll click next. What apps do I use? I'm going to say I don't use any of them. Um, in real life, I use PayPal and I use MailChimp. And there's no way I'm connecting my MailChimp to QuickBooks. Any other apps? N no, we're, we're going to say skip for now. And so link your accounts. This is where you can connect your bank accounts to QuickBooks Online so that data downloads into QuickBooks Online. I'm just going to say skip for now. How do I track my receipts? I'm going to say that I save paper receipts. 
And then there's an opportunity for me to download the QuickBooks mobile app. You'll notice there really aren't videos on that because it's, um, we're not able to screen record when using the app, or at least I'm not. What I need to do is get my husband's phone and hold it over me while I demonstrate the app and, and kind of do things old school. But for now, I'm just going to say thank you and click next. What do I want to do in my QuickBooks? I, I don't know. Nothing. <laughs> skip, skip for now. What should we do first? Um, well, I have to pick something. I, I can't say skip for now. So I guess I'll say get ready to invoice. And here you can set up your invoices. Really what it's saying is you can change up your invoice template. I'll definitely make a different video for that. You can send yourself a sample invoice. Hey, that's great. You can set up online payments so people can pay you. I have that set up in my real QuickBooks and I'm not doing it for the demo. So I'm just going to say skip for now. Invoice from anywhere. Again, an opportunity to get the mobile app. I'm going to click next. Finally, we're on our way. Let us wait. Ooh, let's go. This is what our QuickBooks looks like now that we have it set up. I set up a brand new QuickBooks just so we could see it, so we could talk about it, so we can see what's going on. Some of the things that we skipped that we can do if we want is we can link our bank accounts. There's three accounts here. There's also find your bank. If you do this and you don't see this magical link your accounts on the right hand side, you can go to banking on the left and then select banking. And then you would definitely have this option that says connect account. You can search for your account, connect it. I have a video for that. So if you're uncertain, no problem. The other thing that it talked about was customizing your invoice. I'll make a different video for this, but just very briefly to get to it, you'll click on the gear. You go to the left hand side to your company. You'll go to custom form styles, and then you can customize your invoice here. All right, so let's go back to the dashboard, see what we've got. We have stuff, we have things. Even though we told it that we have a bookkeeper, we still have an ad for QuickBooks Live bookkeeping. I probably wouldn't use it. Um, business overview, not a whole lot to see here, but there are things and stuff and it's gonna start to come together. I'm gonna use this QuickBooks file for just a little bit to make a couple of videos Then I'm gonna cancel it. There is no sense in making you wait to see how to cancel. So I'll make a second video for it, but if you're watching and you're curious, we're going to click on the gear. We're going to go to subscriptions and billing, uh, payment information. I really feel like I entered, well, what I thought I was going to see was an option to cancel, but I, there's no, like, unless you cancel, well, if you, you don't have my payment information, why would I add it? Um, so here, unable to process payment. Yeah, that's true. I put in fake bank information. I guess it's just going to cancel itself because I set it up using fake information because I didn't want to put my real credit card in here for the purpose of a video that I'm just going to make and delete where I thought it was going to delete right away. Let me show you one other thing. If we go to account and settings, we go to billing and subscription. No. Okay. I thought I could go there to cancel. Normally over here in the upper left-hand corner, you have an option to cancel. I was going to be kind and cancel it. It's not going to do that. So whatever, it will be fine. I'm sure it's just an automated series of emails that go out. It's not like our small businesses where we're calling people up saying like, hey, you didn't pay the thing. Can you pay your bill? That'd be great. All right. If there are any videos that you'd like to see me create so you can see how stuff comes together and how it works please don't hesitate to let me know. If you need help with your bookkeeping, we offer outsourced bookkeeping, both one time and ongoing. We offer one-on-one -on -one training as well as self-paced courses. You can find us at gentlefrog.com. Thanks.